Welcome back to another exciting video. And what we're talking about today is the game show. Can you guess the music I play from a picture of my guitar? Okay, so welcome back, and here we go, and as you can see, I have got my lovely wife with me today. Um, knows a lot about music, pretty much nothing about guitars. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. So this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. So we are going to play, uh, the video that was going to go up was going to be the RG video, but this is one we just, we just, had, we just had to get this one done, because this one was going to be a lot of fun. So uh, we're doing the game show. Can you guess what type of music I play from my guitar? So this is going to be exciting. Let me pull this up. And a uh, quick story. So the wife and I just went and ate some Mexican before we got here. <laughs> and to show you, tell you how my luck is. This is a place we've been eating at. Taco Cabeza. <laughs> from Gas Breaking Bad. Gas Station Mexico. Gas Station Mexico. Yeah. And it has real Mexicans working in it. And uh, the food is generally fantastic. I, always. Yeah, and they're super nice people. We eat down yeah. there a bit. They know us. Yeah, so we go down there and we eat tonight. And, dude, I got Charlie Brown bigger than shit. <laughs> <laughs> I order a taco and a, uh, a tamal, which they call it, which in my world is a tamale. Yeah. And my wife orders a soft taco and a tamal. So they bring me my food, my taco. I take the first bite, and I was like, damn, my, it's not even warm. And, of course, her taco was piping hot. <laughs> so I cut into my um, tamal, and I cut it you know, right off the tip, and there's no meat in it. I cut again, there's no meat. And she's like, well, you got to cut into the middle. She cuts into the middle of hers, and it's like, it's like cows pouring out of it. There's so much meat in it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just packed full of juicy, savory meat. And it's just a little bit of corn and a ton of meat inside there. And I cut in the middle of mine, and there's still no damn meat. It's like one little twizzle. So uh, I cut again, and I had this little bitty string. And it wasn't really meat. It was just a brown spot where the meat used to be <laughs> inside my tamale. And I was like, who did I piss off in the kitchen, man? Jesus. And so I, got, I seriously got Charlie Browned at the... Uh, <laughs> At the Mexican restaurant, man. We still love them. <laughs> they just don't like you. They just don't like me. And, you know, I'm used to that. So that's, that's not that oh. big a deal to me. <clears throat> so here we go with, can you guess the music I play from a picture of my guitar? <laughs> All right. So the first one we're starting off with is we are going to start with TK. So from T Finland. TK from Finland. What's happening, Finland? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that was. It, it was your little Finland dance. It was. <laughs> I, I was about to Wayne's World it for a minute, but. Oh, 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 hey, you go right ahead. I, I pulled myself back. Okay. Uh, so TK sent us this picture, and this is an extremely nice guitar. TK has a J Custom Ibanez. And it is absolutely lovely. This is a great guitar, TK. I'm glad you got this thing. Not that I have anything to do with it whatsoever. But still, I kind of like to think that anybody who buys a guitar, I have something to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> no matter where you are in the world, I feel like to think I got something to do with it. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is a very nice guitar. So he's got him a J Custom Ibanez. Congrats blue. to you, my friend. And it's blue, which is my wife's favorite color. Yes. And uh, so, all right. Now, TK is from Finland, so I'm going to jump off the board first, and I'm going to tell you what I think he plays. Yikes. So I'm going to say, man, he does have a J Custom. He spent. I, I was about to say, that with that guitar? Yeah, he spent some money on this. And the nice thing about a J Custom is you can play so many different venues on it. So I, I got I to gotta think about this for one second. Jewish Bar Mitzvah Metal. <laughs> <laughs> really thought you were going to go polka but <laughs> Jewish bar mitzvah metal which is JBM for short <laughs> so if you ever see that category of JBM it's Jewish bar mitzvah metal I'm sorry TK 
It's such a so, beautiful guitar. So what do you think it is? Not that. <clears throat> Not that. It, uh, there's only one. Uh, I would think there's only one thing you can play with that. What's and, that? And do amazing. What's that? Well, it's because you have one. Well, I know. I know. But I'm a dork. TK's not a dork. First of all, you're not a dork. You're amazing, and that's a gorgeous guitar. And he's got to play rock. So he's got a he's got a rock on that one. Okay, what type of rock? Ooh, hmm. Gosh, I don't know. That, I, I mean, that's classy. That's so classy. So I would think classy. And on this type of guitar, you can literally play just about anything. I would say seventies, eighties. That's classic. So you're gonna say classic rock? Yes. I'm actually gonna say since he is from Finland. Oh. Because there are some shredders that come out of Finland. Yeah. I'm actually going to say neoclassical metal. Oh, ooh, very, oh. That's what I'm going with. TK, neoclassical metal. The wife says classic rock. So you got to send me a message and let me know. Yeah. Neoclassical metal, classic, classic rock. rock. All right, so. <laughs> Either way, it's gorgeous. It's amazing. Yes, fantastic guitar, my friend. Absolutely fantastic guitar. So now we are moving down. Okay, so now we are moving on to Edward Lyons. So Edward Lyons sends us his guitar, and he sends me a note. Um, absolutely love my RG8570Z Amandite Garnet. That's the one that I've got. Absolutely fantastic guitar, which I was encouraged to chase down after watching your brilliant review. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. However, I am submitting my Ibanez J Custom RG eighty twenty G PQZ. Um, it is in black quartz, and he's extremely luckily. Was luckily, he's extremely luckily. Jesus, I did it again. He's extremely lucky to have one, and you'll see right here in a minute because the guitar is absolutely striking. Uh, Japan twenty two exclusive. Oh wow! And oh, only twenty four made. That's even better. I like that. Uh, normally, these types of spot models are, are insanely expensive, but for some reason in Japan, the retailer had it listed for typical J Custom pricing. Ironically, it was my wife's birthday the day I saw it, and I asked her if I could buy it, and she said, yes, you've got a very, very, very good wife, dude. Very good wife. So so I know two lucky people in the world, me and him. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> two lucky people. i got an amazing wife. Absolutely amazing. I have an amazing husband. I was never getting remarried. Yeah, I was I've been single for over six years. Until I met her. And um, here we are. Love Very you, baby. Happy. I love you. Um, apart from the incredible custom finish, it is pretty slick. That allows you to see the wood grain underneath. The body is a single piece of ash. Oh, very nice. And it plays and sounds fantastic. Full specs below. I'm going to read the specs. Uh, this is a pretty slick guitar. Neck type. It does have an RG uh, J Custom Super Wizard. It is the five piece maple in Wingay. Wingay. <laughs> Wingay neck uh, has a one piece ash, uh, ash 44 millimeter body. The guitar should sound very, very good. I like ash. Ash is nice. Has a rosewood fretboard, Tree of Life inlay, which is just absolutely shockingly gorgeous. Uh, it's got jumbo frets. It's got the J Custom fret edge treatment, which is the best edge treatment in the world. In the world. It, I mean, it literally is. Out of all the guitars I've had, Nothing has had the uh, the dress the fret job that this uh, J Custom has. Twenty four frets got the low pro edge trim. Yes, it does. Greatest trim low system in the world. Uh, it's got the low pro, but you do give up the zero system when you get that. So uh, ten point eight string spacing. He's got the standard fare. He's got the Air Norton the Tone Zone uh, pickups in it. It is a double double. Uh, pass back to the is a. Factory tuning. He's using the XL120 string gauges, 9 to 42. And the hardware is gold. Look at this thing. Is this absolutely not gorgeous? It is. I've, I've never seen anything like that. It's beautiful. I love the gold touches. It's very pretty. Yeah, this is a gorgeous guitar. And does it, is the headstock, does it match? Oh, I'm sure it does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely does match. All right, now this is a beautiful guitar, and I'm going to say it, Ed. You know, if you're ever bored, man, you can ship this thing over to me. I will play it at a show. <laughs> <laughs> I will film it, and I will put it up on the channel of me welling on your guitar, dude, because that is a gorgeous guitar. It and, is. And I love Ibanez's. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a hard one. This one is tough. So looking at this guitar, what do you think he plays? 
Mm. I, I, I'm thinking he's going to be more hardcore with this. It's a hardcore looking guitar. I, he's more metal. I'm thinking that's more metal. You know what? I can go with metal on this one, too. I can go with metal on this, too. Um, now, granted, there's many subgenres. Um, so, you know, because you have speed metal, you got death metal. Um, if you go straight up metal, then that's kind of, um, um, you know, the small metal band, the smallest band in the world. Nobody ever goes, everybody, nobody ever goes sees them. They're barely making any money. Metallica. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Barely making any money. Yeah. So to me, Metallica is more of a straight up type of metal. Yeah. That's just a straight up metal. Uh, to me, early classic metal would be more like Iron Maiden. Early Ozzy with Randy Rhodes. Yeah. To me, that's classic metal. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go with you. I'm gonna, we're going to say straight up metal, Ed. On this guitar, you almost have to be playing metal, dude, because this is a metal-looking guitar if I've ever seen a metal-looking guitar. It is. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go straight up metal on this one, man. I'm with you. Okay, we're going to say straight up metal. Ed, you got to let us know if we're correct or not. Watch him type us back, and he probably plays, you know, 1940s blues. He yodels. He yodels. <laughs> I don't play it, dude. I just, I hope the, the little arm that sticks out, that's where I stick my kazoo. <laughs> it just sits on there. That is a gorgeous guitar. So we're going to say metal. Both of us, me and the wife, are going to say metal on this one. So we're moving down to Christian Day Jesus. And let's see. Christian Day. It's another blue one. It I is like a it. blue guitar. It looks like water. I like it, Christian. Uh, does not have a trim system on it. It is a hard tail. It is obviously a Jackson guitar. It is a well loved. Yeah. See the hard play Jackson. See the neck. Uh, see the fret markers on it. Yeah. Okay, those are their the Jackson the Jackson shark inlays is what they're called. Those are the shark inlays. Oh. So when you get down to around to, uh, around the nut, they're much thicker and it kind of looks like a shark fin. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is a Jackson that we're playing here. And I'm just going to come straight out of the gate on this one, and I'm going to go straight up, straight up, uh, straight up metal. I don't. I think. I think Christian. I I'm going to go straight metal. I think you're young. I definitely think you're younger. And now, how the hell can you tell that when you can only see one hand? I'm not going by that. I'm going by his guitar. I think he's younger. He plays a crap so out of this thing, which means he wails on it. I'm thinking he's playing. Oh. I mean, this is it. <laughs> I'm going to go straight up metal on this one, too. Metal? Maybe. Yeah. But if it is, it's more contemporary. It's it's now. He's not. I don't think he's doing classic stuff on that. I don't know. He might. But he's playing the crap out of that thing. It is impressive. No. I'm going to go straight up. Well, I got to ask, why do you think he's playing the crap out of this guitar? Uh, the The chips? <laughs> <laughs> where his, where he's picking? Do you not see this? This guy looks like a, I can't tell if that's where. At that is that is no because it's on the pickup too. Yeah, that's love. He's playing the bejeebles out of that thing. That is impressive. Well, I'm gonna say he's playing just straight up, straight up metal. Okay. I'm gonna say he's playing straight up metal. He's banging on some um some Megadeth. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, that's some not Maiden. Yeah, something a little... Uh, maybe not Maiden, because uh, according to my wife, his hands look young, so he must be young, because she's been looking at these old man hands. I, no. Um, so I'm going to say some Metallica, Megadeth, stuff like that. That's what I'm going to say. So the wife and I both say that you, my friend, Christian, are playing metal. Playing metal. I'm going to go with metal. Okay, moving on. Let us know if we are correct or not. Well, now we are going down to Nevin Ivanov. This is my Ibanez RG5320. Oh, nice. Prestige, left-handed. Sorry for these crappy pictures. Pictures are fine, my friend. Uh, thanks to your review, I bought it last year, and I can't put it down. Oh. I'm telling you, man, I've sold more Ibanezes than Sweetwater has. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing for four years. Way to go, my friend. I have two more guitars, but this one may be the last. I have oh. a feeling that it was made for me. You know what? I did a video on do you connect with your guitar because that is literally the most important thing about playing guitar. I don't care if it's a $200 guitar 
or a $8,000 guitar. If you connect with that guitar, you will play it. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm glad my review helped you, my friend. I hope these are just, oh, 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 yeah, the lefty. They actually make this. This is the 5320 Ibanez. They actually make this guitar in a left hand. Um, I know, not that mine was a left hand, a uh, right-handed one, but these guitars absolutely freaking well. They have the Fusion pickups in it, and it's really cool. These are double coils with the Fusion pickups. It does have a low-pro trim system on it, and it has a switcher on it. So you can turn the uh, the two double coils, you can turn them into singles. And on the distortion side, you really can't tell much of a difference, which is really cool between the single coil and the double coil. But on the clean side, there's a vast difference. But the thing I like about this guitar in particular is when you switch over, you don't have that big volume loss like you do on a lot of guitars when you switch them from, single, from double to single. This one really doesn't have a lot of volume loss. This guitar is an absolute beast. This thing is an absolute beast. Um... So I know exactly which guitar this is. Obviously, I did a review on this guitar. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this thing is an absolute beast. This is a great guitar. Absolute great guitar. Because actually, this is the guitar that inspired me when we were looking at the uh, the uh, Tree of Life's. Yeah. It was this guitar. So I thought, if this thing is this good, a J Custom has to be better. Because <laughs> this guitar is phenomenal. Glad you got this, my friend. Okay, now, this one's going to be easy. You know, and I'm not uh, trying to, you know, I'm not going to sit here and just say he plays metal, 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 metal. But this is a freaking metal guitar. This is a balls out metal guitar. Wow. Yeah, it, it, that's what this is. Oh, okay. This is a metal guitar. Well, then I can't go with anything other than that when you already <clears throat> prefaced it by. Yeah, this is a this is a flat out metal guitar. And I even said it in, in my review when I did this guitar. Um, it, it, you can you can do anything on this guitar from the sounds, but the looks of it is definitely metal. It's kind of hard to show up to your your blues gig with this guitar because it is so metal looking. Now you can because the guitar sounds amazing. But I love metal. I love playing metal, which is why I bought this guitar. And if you bought this guitar based on my review, then I've got to say <laughs> you are a metal dude all the way. And I'm gonna go straight up hard metal. You agree with that? I do. All right. Nevin, I hope we're saying that right. Nevin, Nevin, Nevin? I would think Nevin. Nevin Ivanov. We're going to go with metal on you, my friend, because you've got a serious metal guitar. That is fantastic. And congrats on the guitar, man. I'm glad you really like that. That is fantastic. All right. Okay, now hang on now. Now, the email's from Petrucci Jr. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're really making this one kind of easy there, Petrucci Jr., but I got a picture. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, looky there. My boy's got him an RG. He's got him a premium RG, which is a fantastic guitar. Hey, how are you? I'm Eric. Hello, Eric. Just scrolling through YouTube and came across your channel. First thing I saw was you had a similar guitar. Oh, yes, very similar. Absolutely very similar. It's pretty much the same, just in an RG body. That is correct. This is literally the RG version of the one that I'm giving away. The 11, uh, my 1070. This is the 1120 PBZ. Uh, I'm giving away the 1070 PBZ. So this is the RG version of the uh, S. It's actually called an S series guitar. Sorry for the incomplete guitar. Quite all right. Still trying to get the electronics installed. Loves guitar. Been playing it unplugged for a couple of months. Ibanez is cool. Yes, they are. They make a very good guitar. Okay, so you don't have the electronics in it, which we can see doesn't have the knobs on it. So just out of the gate, since you're not, you don't have this amplified and you're not rocking it out to its full possibility, I am going to come straight out of the gate and I'm going to say that you are playing children's rhymes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Goose. <laughs> Mother Goose. No. Children's rhymes. First of all, it sleeps in his bed. With him, obviously. Well, that is true. I did not take that into account. That's right. He he loves his guitar. It sleeps with him. So, mm. no. So maybe he plays that uh, that sexy, uh, um, what's that band, In Vogue? Oh, man, that damn, you know, what's it gonna be? Because I can't pretend any. Yeah, my voice is shot. We had band practice yesterday, and I had to actually sing some songs that I haven't sang in a while, and it, 
<laughs> kind of cooked my voice. Um, <clears throat> that's why I sound the way that I sound right now. But maybe he's playing some sexy jazz on this thing. Sexy, I don't. Sexy blues. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with sexy blues. Sexy blues. I'm gonna go with sexy blues. Huh. Well, he's got a tremolo on there, so well, yeah, he's got a. Hey, well, I can play. I play blues, and you know, I got a trim. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can win on some Gary Moore, baby. Yeah, because he's acoustic. Right now, he's acoustic. Yeah. So what he's doing is he's he's wetting his chops mm-hmm. to get because when he gets power to this thing, he's going to destroy the house he lives in. I know it's going to blow the damn thing up. It's, it's going to need its own bed. It's, it's yeah. going to be like Back to the Future, <laughs> and it's going to blow him. It's going to blow him back back across the room. So Petrucci Jr., since your name is Petrucci Jr., I'm going to step off a cliff and I'm going to say you're a fan of John Petrucci, <laughs> and I'm going to say you really like Dream Theater. So I am going to say you're seriously into fusion metal. Fusion. Hell yeah, fusion metal. Huh. See, yeah. I was thinking more Eagles. John Petrucci, Dream Theater? No, just the look of it. Piss on that. He's got he's his name's Petrucci Jr. Well, this is true. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to assume he's into fusion metal really hard, which I am too, my friend. Uh Rush, one of my favorite bands of oh. all time. That's one of my favorite ones they do. Uh, Not my favorite. One of the favorites it, in your band. What are you talking about? Uh, whenever y'all play. Oh, Tom Sawyer. Yes. Tom Sawyer. Yes, in my band we do Tom Sawyer. And uh, so I'm going to say that you're really hard into fusion metal, which is seriously cool because I love fusion metal. And uh, with a name like Petucci Jr., you kind of narrowed it down for me a little bit, but... Your guitar is awesome. I hope you get the electronics back in it pretty soon because you're going to love this guitar because that is an amazing, amazing guitar you have, my friend. So you will like that quite a bit. So I'm going with Fusion Metal. Wife? I think he's a little more laid back than Fusion Metal. Okay, well, hey, go. Throw it out there. I, I, I think he's just acoustic and he's he's hitting some classy stuff. He's hitting some older things. Okay, so the wife's going to go with classic rock like Eagles, which to me is not really classic rock. That's kind of a classic country rock thing to me. Yeah. Yeah, because they could really go on either side of the tracks. Yeah. Uh, so she's going to say classic country rock. I'm going to say fusion metal. Petrucci Jr. or Eric? Let us know, brother. I, now, now I got to know. I got to know on this one now. And hope you get the electronics back in your car pretty soon. Now we're going to Guitar Samurai. Oh, I love that. Guitar. Oh, wow. Looky here. Look how pretty that is. You need to, you, you have to wear a top hat when you're playing something like that. That's, that's impressive. This is the Steve Vai Gym. Mm. Now, um, I don't know if you remember. Remember the one at Guitar I was showing you that has, it's kind of like the uh, yin and yang cuts in it? Yeah. That's the new one, the Pia. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. You showed me. Yeah, that. yeah. I would. L that's when we get things situated. <laughs> <laughs> Got my eye on a Pia. That green one. Remember I showed you that really, that real green, green, a bright yeah. green. Oh, dude, that guitar is awesome. It looks like a, a Granny Smith apple green. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That one. Uh, so, yeah, that's the one I got my eye on. So he's got a white. This is absolutely fantastic. He's got a white Steve Vai gem. And this is where the tree of life, if you look at the neck, this is where it originated at. Oh, okay. Steve Vai. I was going to say, that one looks different. It's yeah. beautiful. And actually, the J Custom, if I'm not mistaken, the J Custom was spawned off of this. Because Steve Vai, there wouldn't be an RG without Steve Vai. Yeah. They made this guitar for Steve Vai when they did this. Then they turned it into the RG line. And the, the Tree of Life came from Steve Vai. That was one of his things. And it carried over to the J Custom. So, and see the hole in it? It's called the Monkey Grip. Didn't know that. Yeah. See it in the body? I do. Yeah. And if you notice, it's got the places for your hand. Like your brass fingers. knuckles. Mm. Well, yeah, it'd be kind of hard to punch <laughs> with that. So this is simply an amazing guitar. I do love Steve Vai. And I'm going to assume, since you're playing a Steve Vai guitar, that does not mean you play Steve Vai music, though. No. But that does mean... Now, Steve Vai, is kind of really hard to classify the music he plays. Because he is a uh, very... Eclectic? Uh, good word. Uh, what's another word? What's what I'm looking for? He's very... Uh, eccentric? He is very eccentric. 
And even though he is a rock guy, it's really kind of hard to classify. You can't pigeonhole Vi into a type of music. Yeah. Because, um, yes, very Cetriani-ish. They are rock and roll guys. Um, these guys are shredders from the 80s and early 90s. Um, he is a metal guy. Now, metal is a very big genre. And like I said, there's a lot of subgenres of metal. He is a full-on metal guy. But he's, he's got a very eccentric style of playing. Remember when we watched the thing where I was showing you a Hydra? Mm-hmm. He was playing the three guitars? Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, but because you're playing a Steve Vai, I am going to jump off a ledge, and I am going to say you're playing classic metal. I, I'm going more rock with this one. That's beautiful. Classic rock, new rock. What are you going with? Hmm. I'm going to go classic metal. Early Ozzy with Jakey Lee, Randy Rhodes. Uh, okay. may, maybe some Motley Crue, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Now I can see Motley Crue. Yeah. And that is a beautiful, if, if that was a piece of clothing, it would be like stilettos. That's impressive. It would be stilettos if that was clothing. It would be. It would be stilettos. And I like that it's all white. So I'm going to go with classic metal on this one. I'm going with rock. Because if I had the guitar, I'd be playing classic metal. And the wife is going with classic rock. So let us know, Guitar Samurai, uh, Jay Gonzalez, made in Japan in 2004. Beautiful guitar, my friend, a beautiful guitar. Moving down the list, we are now going to, I'm going to try to pronounce your name, my friend. Florencio. My wife is going to pronounce your name, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Florencio. Lorenzo Mananquil? Mananquil? Mananquil. Man okay. My wife is going to pronounce your name, my friend. So here we go. What do we got here? Let me take a look at this. Bada bing, bada boom. We do have an Ibanez, but off the top of my head, I do not know what model this is. This is a... See, I'm thinking automatically a lot of like Motley Crue's going on on this thing. So that would be the classic metal. I'm trying to see. Does this have. You categorize Motley Crue's classic metal? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, I see a lot of some, uh, that coming out of there. They've definitely looked. Now, I, I, I barely, I got to clear this up. I barely put. Motley Crue into the classic metal genre. I mean, they're like hanging on by a pair of spandex. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're barely in there. Because for me, full-on classic metal is early Ozzy with Randy Rhodes and, you know, Iron Maiden, stuff like that. Yeah, that's but, what I think of when you say metal. Yeah, but I'm going to nudge them. They're, they're right in between that metal classic rock vibe Yeah, in there. Maybe a little Def Leppard on there. So you're going to go with classic metal on this? See, now, now uh, Def Leppard's going to be classic rock. See, I'm thinking more hard rock, which is where I would put Motley Crue. They're hard rock, but when I think hard rock, I think more, um, you know, early Sammy Hagar, stuff like that. Well, that's what I'm going with more um, hard rock on this. Yeah, and, and, and hard rock, you know, and like I said, you know, um, Motley Crue, I kind of put right at the verge of that metal rock line right there. Um so we're going to go hard rock. That is a very good guess on this one. That is a very good guess on this one. And you know what? And I think I'm going to have to follow my wife's advice on this one. I think we're going to go with hard rock on this. He does have himself an Ibanez guitar. A uh, nice guitar. It's got a Floyd Rose tremolo system. Or it could be an Ibanez version of the Floyd Rose tremolo system. But we're going to go with hard rock. I'm not going to go metal on him. I'm going to go hard rock on him. Yeah. I'm not going to go metal on him. Um, I think hard rock would be a, a very good, a very good guess <laughs> for his. And, yeah, and I guess we could put Motley Crue, I guess we could put them in a hard rock category. Yeah, because like I said, they're right on that. Uh, it could be metal, but, you know, we'll go with the hard rock for, for them. Okay, moving on. So let us know, Florencio, what it is, what style of guitar you play. Moving on to Travis Weatherspoon. Travis Weatherspoon, he sends us two guitars. Oh, Travis, monkey in the wrench, my friend. <laughs> Threw me a monkey in the wrench. 
So we have an Epiphone Les Paul, and we have a Schechter. Hmm. Okay, both these guitars are hardtails, obviously. I'm going to say blues. I was going to say jazz. I'm, I'm just going to go straight up blues. I'm, I'm, I'm Not curious. a Texas blues. I'm curious to hear the results on this one. I'm going to go straight up blues, like a Memphis blues. Yeah. I'm perplexed, Travis. I'm excited yeah. and perplexed. She's going with jazz. Yeah. New jazz, old jazz, modern jazz, fusion jazz. Older jazz. Older jazz, 1940s jazz, 1950s jazz. Swanky jazz. Swanky jazz. Yeah. So she's going nightclub full of smoke. Dude sitting at the piano, tie unbuttoned. Yes. Yeah, sax player. Sweat. Sweat. And the dude on the guitar. And my friend Travis, you're the dude on the guitar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the club. So I'm going to say blues. She's going to go jazz. Travis, let let us know. Let us know which one it is. I, I We, we got to know this. Uh, two nice guitars. I'm going to go blues, man. I'm going to go blues on these guitars. Okay, moving on. Now we are going to Brian Brooks. Oh, man. Now here, I'm just going to jump straight out. Here is my girl. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Here's my girl. I am going to jump straight off the ledge here. He's got himself a Schecter. And this is an S-Series body. Uh, very nice guitar. I like the neck. Is that a straight up mahogany neck? It's pretty. Yeah, could be a straight up mahogany neck on that one. That is very pretty. That's not roasted maple. That is too dark to be roasted maple. That is obviously not ebony. It could be panga, but I don't know if they put that on the Schecter guitars. I'm going to come straight out and I'm going to say straight up Texas blues. Really? Yeah. Gosh, that to me, Brian, your guitar looks like a Chevy Bel Air. It is gorgeous. I, I'm going with oldies on that. That 50s is rock. Classy. She's going to say 50s rock. Yeah. Yeah. That's oldies coming out of that. That yeah. is a Bel Air. It just needs wheels. I'm going to say Texas blues. I'm going to say he is going to well on like some Stevie Ray Vaughan. I can see um, that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump also into the rock thing like some good ZZ Top. I'm going to jump onto some ZZ Top, some Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh, yeah. Uh, swagger rock on this thing. That's what I'm going to go with. My wife says it's 50s rock and roll. It makes me think of the Beach Boys. Look at that. I want to hear Beach Boys when I look at that. It makes her think of the Beach Boys. <laughs> now, Brian, just because she said that, do not run out and sell your guitar, my friend. Aww. <laughs> it makes her think of the Beach Boys. Well, it's the colors. I love, I love that. Yeah, but it's being that you're a girl, what he would rather hear is that is a sexy-ass guitar. Okay. Makes you think of the Beach Boys. Sorry. It is a nice guitar. I love the neck on it. Absolutely love that neck. Beautiful neck on this guitar. But I'm going to jump out. Yes, I'm going to say um, some good ZZ Top, some Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, getting that Texas rock blues vibe going. That is what I'm going with. You cannot change my mind. Brian Brooks, let me know if that is what your girl plays. I am curious. All right, Niles Tim. This one's going to blow your mind. There's three. All right, so we've got us a Les Paul standard nice guitar. All right, it is in a burst finish. Okay, we do have an Ibanez. This is a um, S-Series. This is the new Frosted White Ibanez. This is the, the new um, 1070 PBZ. This is the year after mine. Okay. That's what this one is. Uh, which we already know they're fantastic guitars. That's why I'm giving mine away. Uh, well, I'm not. I mean, I mean, I'm. See, that, that doesn't sound right when no, I say I that. It sounds like it's a crap guitar. Yeah, I'm but sorry. You've heard I the guitar. Know. You've seen it. The guitar is absolutely stunning. It is. Yeah, it plays fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not giving it away because it's a bad guitar. I'm giving it away because I want somebody to win an extremely damn nice guitar. Yeah. And hopefully, somebody who doesn't have the means to buy right a guitar like this. Yeah. Sorry about the Great Dane. He's out there barking, making noise. What's the last one? Is that an what is that? Is that another Ibanez? This, uh, I think this is a Jackson. I can't tell. The picture is a touch blurry. I can't tell, but it looks like a Jackson to me. So I'm going to say this is a Jackson. Niles, you have to let me know. But I'm going to say that's a Jackson. So if I'm correct, then you have a Jackson. 
picture is a touch blurry on that one. Obviously, you have a, a 1070 in the Frost White. That is a beautiful guitar. And then you have a Les Paul. Mm. I, Niles, you're an, en you're an enigma. The, the, you're blowing my mind with all three of these. The, the last two, I can see. That first one just throws me off. And he's got the Les Paul in a gaming chair. I know. So I am going to say from looking at these guitars, I'm going to say that he plays sitcom theme music. <laughs> well, we're moving on up. Oh, no. <laughs> to the top. That's, I'm going to say he's playing sitcom theme music. Uh, not, not writing jingles like on Two and a Half Men? No, no. He's not a jingle writer. No. No, if he's a jingle writer, he wouldn't be playing a Les Paul. Gotcha. He'd be playing like a ukulele. <laughs> Man, I, I, I don't know where to go with I'm going to say sitcom. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> He's playing sitcom show tunes. He is more than one genre. He is definitely more than one. Gosh, I'm going to say blues and rock with that. I'm going to say that he is a classic rock guy. Yeah, that's a good, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm going to say he's a classic. Now, the good thing about it is that these guitars that he's got, you can actually use these virtually for anything. Obviously, you can play metal on a Les Paul. You can play classic rock on a Les Paul. You can play blues on a Les Paul. You can play jazz on a Les Paul. Um, and I've had three. I just haven't found that one that I just absolutely got, must have. Um, the Ibanez, there again, on this particular guitar, you can play all those genres on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the Jackson... I'm assuming this is a Jackson from what I can tell, and it looks like it does have EMG pickups in it. Now, if those are the EMG, if that's the standard 8581 setup, that is pretty much, you can play rock, but that is more of a metal, metal guitar, a metal guitar. Yeah. So you can play metal on these guitars, but the two on the bottom are definitely more shreddy than the Les Paul. Yeah, that's what's throwing me off. That's why I say he's doing more than one genre. That's it. I, I would love to hear this. Uh, you know, I'm changing my opinion. Okay. I am going to say that he's playing straight up freaking death metal. <laughs> <laughs> death metal. <laughs> I'm going say he's going straight up death metal. You sound like Wookiee. I do sound like Wookiee. That's that's the great thing. It is the Jackson that changed my mind. Because I think that Jackson has EMGs in it. Yeah. So I'm going to say straight up death, just hardcore wow. death metal. Okay. What do you, what, what, what say you, baby? Gosh, I was going with blues and then rock, but I'm that. I don't know. I'm perplexed. I'm perplexed, Niles. Well, like I said, the two on the bottom were more shreddy. Yeah. Then you got the Les Paul on the top. I think, first of all, when everybody tells us what they play, they should also send a small video clip of them playing it. That would be cool. Yes. <laughs> so tell us what you play and then. A little. All right, little. I, come on. We need an answer. I'm gonna say death metal. Okay, I, I'm going with I'm going with rock. I'm going with rock. New rock, classic rock, old rock, fifties rock. New. New rock. Or new. Current rock. Yes. Okay, so she's gonna go with a more of a current rock. I am. Okay, moving down to TJ. Got some nice guitars, Niles. Moving down to TJG, my guitar. Okay, I've got to read this. It's a shit B stock that two and three position doesn't work. Tried the WD-40 contact cleaner. Doesn't intonate for crap. I'm a oh. beginner, though. <laughs> so I guess it's okay since I'm going to get beaten to hell. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a fantastic way to start that off. It is. TJ, fantastic way. Two and three position doesn't work. Try W40 contact cleaner. That's not going to work for you, my friend. Doesn't intonate for crap. I'm a beginner, though. He is doing his best and learning on this. Tell you what, TJ. If you get a chance, box this piece of shit up. <laughs> box your guitar up, send it to me, dude. I'll fix it and send it back to you. How does that sound? <laughs> I will. I believe you. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to send it to me, uh, I'll send you my address. You can send this to me, and uh, I'll fix it, and I'll send it back to you. Because you're a beginner. When you're a beginner guitar, the, the worst thing to do is play a guitar that doesn't work the way it should when you're a beginner. Because then it makes you lose interest very fast. And so having your intonation set correctly and all that is, that's, 
I can't express how important that is for for a beginner. And it kills me when beginners like they'll go to Guitar Center, well I've never played before, and then they steer them towards these piece of shit $125 crap Fender guitars that the action's seven miles high, the strings are rusted when you buy it out of the damn box. The intonation doesn't work, and if you're lucky, if you're lucky, it makes noise <laughs> of some kind. And I disagree with that. Even beginners, I always tell them, if you can afford it, drop at least $1,000. You know, and I know it's a lot of money for a beginner, but chances are, and I'm going to say 50% of the people who start off playing guitar on a shitty guitar will quit playing right away. Yeah. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I don't, I, TJ, he sounds, he sounds like he is trying, though. I think he's committed. Well, if it's not working, my friend, send it to me, and I will get it working, and I will ship it back to you, bud. And he will. So, yeah, I'll, I'll fix it, and I'll send it back to you. And uh, so... I don't even know what kind of guitar we got here. I can't tell what kind of guitar you got, TJ, from these pictures. Because on my side, it's, is it fuzzy on yours? On my yeah. iPad, it's fuzzy. Yeah, it's fuzzy. Yeah, so I can't really zoom in to see any of the details on the guitar. Um, So I am going to... I do not think that it... I got to be honest. I can't tell what that is. I'm, I'm surprised because I pride myself on knowing all this stuff. I'm going country. <laughs> I am not. I'm going to say this guy is a straight up, he's a beginner. I'm going to say he's a straight up Metallica fan. And I'm going to say he's jumping straight into metal right out of the bag. Probably. Being a new guitar player, I'm going to say straight into metal. So let me know if we're right, TJ. And like I said, if you want to ship this thing to me, dude, I will fix this guitar, set the intonation, and I'll get your switch working, and I will send it back to you, brother. So you do not have to worry about that. All right, moving down the list. I say Metallica, and what do you say? Country. You say country. No, I'm going to say with my Metallica. I think the next one is Peter Fletcher. Peter Fletcher. Peter Fletcher's got it. Oh. Ew. Peter <laughs> Fletcher. I came, Pete, I came this close to buying this exact guitar. This is the Ocean Blue Ibanez Prestige. I love, love, love the maple neck on this guitar. I'm a huge fan of maple necks. Huge fan. I came very close to buying this guitar. And this has the Fishman Fluence pickups in it. It's a beautiful it, yeah, I, I do like the finish. Yeah, this is yeah. seriously cool. You see how it's transparent? You can see the wood under, underneath it? Yeah. Yeah, this is the ocean blue guitar, and it's got a switch on it because it changes the output, the voicing of these pickups. So you get basically two sets of pickups on this one guitar. So they have two complete different voicings on them. So that's pretty cool. I do not own a guitar with Fishman Influence, but I literally almost bought this guitar, and when I was looking for it, it was on back order. So I kind of just put it on hold and just didn't buy anything at that point. And then you got me my RG, my uh, J Custom. So this is an amazing, amazing guitar. And I'm going to assume you love this guitar since you bought it, but you got to let me know how much you like it, dude. So being flish, oh man, with the Fishman Influence pickups, this is, this is an awesome guitar. This is a Prestige. You know what's amazing me is how many people have sent me Ibanez guitars. <laughs> that is shocking. Most of these guitars have been Ibanez's. Yeah. That's because they know you love them. Well, no, but that, just, that doesn't mean they all love them too, just because I love them. This is a very slick guitar. I am going to say, what do you think, honey? I'm going with something totally off the wall. I'm going to say folk music. My wife is going to say that you spent $2,000 on this beast of a guitar to play folk music. I am going to disagree with my wife on this one. Well, more, all right, let me be more specific. I would say more of the contemporary folk, like the Avit Brothers or something. That I can see that coming out on there. I am actually going to go with jazz, a fusion jazz. I'm going to go with a fusion jazz on this one. Fusion jazz. Yeah. I'm going to go with a fusion jazz on this guitar. 
That's what I think you play. Peter, let me know. Nice guitar, dude. And I, man, if they had had it in stock when I was looking at it, I would, I, this guitar would be sitting in the room with my other guitars. I love this guitar. Love this guitar. Pretty. So, yeah, you got a good one, my friend. This is an awesome guitar. Let me know how you like those pickups. I have yet to play a set of these pickups. I know about them, but being that where we live, buying guitars here is, your selection is shit and more shit. It is hard to buy a guitar here. I mean, 90% of the gear that I buy, if I either mail order it or I got to drive to Nashville to get it. It is hard to get gear where we live here. Very hard. So moving down, we're going down to Sohil. Sohili? <laughs> Sohil? I, I, I don't know. Sohil Sohili. Thanks a lot for your interesting videos. You are welcome. You are the top YouTuber that I follow these days. Aww. Oh, <laughs> thank you, my friend. Thank you. It is a lot of work. And you can ask my wife. I stress over this thing. Yep, he does. Every day I hear. I stress over my YouTube channel because I don't want to put just stupid crap out. I want to put good things out. And of course, people who don't subscribe to me are going to see this video and go, damn, that's stupid crap. No, no. <laughs> no, this is hilarious. He worries about what goes in it. He wants to make sure that he's honest about it, not just trying to placate to People are yes, very or, honest about it. He wants, he truly wants everybody to, you know, enjoy what they play and, and he wants to help people. That I do. I want to help people. I want to help everybody be rock of gods. Now, see, I have to say blue and pink. I, that's, that is an awesome combination. I love that. That's pretty. I've been in his AZ, man. This is a great guitar. Isn't it amazing? It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, interesting videos. Uh, thank you for the compliment, my friend. I started playing guitar around two, five, three years ago. And was playing two to three hours a day. Around two, five, three years ago. What am I missing here? Probably just finger bounced off. Could have been. Could have been. So I'm going to assume you've been playing probably about five years ago. I was playing two to three hours a day. Sadly, I hurt my left wrist and I had to slow down mm. and playing for some time. But what made me, made me happy was buying guitars. I now have five and gladly share the photos with you. So uh, I got it. What's wrong with your wrist? She hurt it. What? She hurt it. Well, I know, but I, I need to know what's wrong with your wrist. Uh, and is it something that's going to heal up? Or are you going to be able to continue to play? And uh, you can never go wrong buying guitars. And because the guitars are just one of those things that you just, I don't know. And, and I understand what you're saying. It makes you feel good. Uh, we have a tobacco burst RZ, uh, AZ in here also. The uh, blue and pink. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see what we got here. I'm thinking indie. She's she's more indie. What do you think? Well, she's playing in AZ, so it's not going to be a metal person. No. Yeah, most meddlers are not going to play in AZ. Um, now there's a lot of stuff you can play on AZ in, um, with an AZ. You're going to say indie rock, which is actually would be a damn good guess. That would be a damn good good guess. Got two Aquilas. Got the blue one. I love the top on that blue one. That quilt top. Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. I like the flame maple. Is that, okay, is that a gray? Blue, green, gray? Bluish gray? Don't know what the pickups are in this one. All beautiful guitars. Love maple necks. Yeah. Absolutely love maple necks. Indie Rock would be a very good guess. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say you play some John McLaughlin type jazz rock. That is what I am going to say. Yes, that is what I'm going to go with. Okay. Amazing guitar player. I mean, the guy is an absolute beast. Well, I love your collection. And with these types of guitars, I'm going to say you're playing some John McLaughlin. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Some jazzy rock, John McLaughlin, some good fusion. Yeah. That's what I'm going to go with. Okay. With these type of guitars. That is what I'm heading for. So, Sohil? Sohili? Sohil? I don't know. Yeah. Bummed out about your wrist. 
Kind of curious, what's wrong with your wrist? Is it going to heal up? Did you break it? Did you crack it? Did you have to beat somebody in the head with it? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, sometimes you got to do that. John Morstad. John Morstad is a super fan. <laughs> Been a subscriber for a while. We have sent many, many, many messages back and forth between me and this gentleman over in Norway. Wow, look at all these guitars. Holy moly. I already knew when I saw his name I was in trouble. <laughs> yeah. I already knew I was in trouble. Oh, my gosh. John, you have a guitar store <laughs> at your house. I knew when I saw his name I was in trouble. Wow. Holy smoke. Golly day. All right. So this one's going to take me a second. So everybody, please stay with me. We're going to read a list of John's guitars. Ay, ay, ay. We have a U.S. Fender Telecaster Ultra Lux Midnight Black. Fantastic. We have a U.S. Fender Stratocaster Elite Candy Apple Red with Fishman Fluence. The other one has Fishman's also. Uh, we have a Tele Thin Line with U.S. Ultra Neck Purple Sparkle and SD Hot Rails. Very nice. Tele Thin Line uh, with U.S. Fender Channel Bound Neck with SD uh, Seymour Duncan. Uh, <laughs> junior SD with a JB Junior stacked vintage. Oh, I bet that sounds good. I bet that sounds very good. We got a Tele with US Elite Flame Maple Neck SD Hot Rails. Hot Rails are cool. I like Hot Rails. That's what I need to put in my, uh, dude, I need to take that pickup out of my J Custom, drop a Hot Rail right in that middle coal section. I need to do that. Uh, vintage parts caster, uh, SD Hot Rails, one of my favorite parts casters. Very nice. Got a Gibson Les Paul Standard Standard Heritage Cherry Sunburst. Excellent guitar. Excellent guitar. Got a Gibson Les Paul Standard LTD Santa Fe Sunrise. Uh, 2004, I have removed the Duesenberg trim from it. I would have done the same thing. I would have exactly done the same thing. Got a Gibson Songwriter Deluxe 2019. Ibanez Artist AR 2619 Prestige. A very nice guitar. Got an Ibanez RG 5170 Prestige, one of my all-time favorites. Very cool. He has a 1070 PBZ Premium as well. He's got an RG uh, 1220 PB Premium, one of my favorites. Dude, the premiums are fantastic guitar. For the money, you can't beat them. The one I'm giving away, the one that we're giving away is a premium. You simply can't beat them. Got an Ibanez Artist, an Ibanez Artist AR720, an Ibanez Artist AR520. Ibanez Iceman, very badass. He's got an Iceman, IC500. Heavily modified with abalone fret inlays, uh, SD pickups, MIJ, a very, wow, wow, really, made in Japan. Very cool, 1996. Found it when I lived in the Philippines a few years back. Very cool guitar. He's got a Yamaha Revstar Standard. He also has a Squire JB, but I never use it, so no picture of it. Very cool, I understand that. But he has recently sold three tellies, two strats, and a JTV Variax. So those are not pictured here, of course. And I'm still waiting on my Jiva X2 Ghost. Now, for okay, he and I have been going back and forth. We were talking about I've been his guitars. The one thing I could not get my hands on was a Jiva X, which is the much better version. Is well, I'm not going to say that. You know how the J Custom is to the to the RG. You have the RG Prestige, then you got the Premium. Um, the Jiva is the top of the line in that S series thin body, and they were hard to find. Well, now they've got the new one out, the X2. I've never even seen one, and he has got one on order. Dying to see this guitar. When you get this, you've got to send me photos, or better yet, a video of you playing. Yes. That would be very cool. <clears throat> All right, so since you've got 9,764 guitars, <laughs> and asking me to say what type of music you play, this is going to be the easiest one out of all of them. Dude, that Iceman is badass. That is so cool. That's the Iceman. It's beautiful. I figured you would love the purple. That's how, Dude, that is Paul Stanley from Kiss all the way. Mm -hmm. That is Paul Stanley all the way playing the Iceman. Oh, this is easy. John, you're the easiest one. Ask me what John plays. What does John play? Everything. Yes. <laughs> I, John now, plays everything. I agree. But I think he loves Southern and Classic rock. I'm going to say he gets into the blues quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I, I would also dare to say that he plays a bit of country. 
Yeah. Uh, tellies are a fantastic guitars, and I had a hot rod telly that I probably never should have sold. It was a, you'd have loved it. It was red with huge uh, metal flake in it, huge metal flake, and it was a hot rod telly. Never should have sold that one. And uh, they're actually very cool guitars. And um, his are uh, he's got solid. He's got a hollow, a hollow, semi hollow. Very nice. I'm gonna say he plays. I'm gonna say everything with an emphasis on classic country rock. Yeah. That's, that's I'm what I'm going to say. Southern and classic rock. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, that's that's what I'm. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm going to broaden it a little bit. I'm going to say blues, country, classic, southern rock. Because if you think about it, you can squeeze all those into one little ball. You really could. And that's what I'm going to say, John. But then we get down and we got the Ibanez Prestiges. <laughs> well, that's a premium. Ooh, I almost bought that one too. The brown wood one? Yeah. Is that the that's not the tobacco burst? No. I came very close to buying that guitar. Yeah, I'm gonna say you play a few few genres. I'm gonna say 70s rock. I'm gonna say blues. I'm gonna say a touch of country. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. And a smidge of everything else. <laughs> but those are the things. Classic rock, blues, country. That's what I'm going with. Because to me, those are all very, very similar. Yeah. Very similar. I'm still going with Southern and Classic. Southern and Classic Rock. That's it. Yeah. And as much as I've talked to this guy, I've never asked him, dude, what type of music you play? And now I'm glad you did. I don't think didn't. we have. I don't think we have. I don't think we've ever talked about that. We wouldn't have been able to have been part yeah. of the game. But we talk about his massive guitar collection. I'm glad we get to see it. Thanks for sending those pictures, John, who is also a super fan. Yes. Also a super fan. Thanks for sending me your pictures. Dude, when you get the X2, you've got to send me a photo when you get that. Got to send me a photo of that. All right, my friends, we're going to move on. We're going down to Sam Grassier. Hey, Trace, recently found your channel. Looking for info on the Ibanez S1070 PBZ. Well, you came to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> I stay and subscribe because the content you put out is great. Thank you, my friend. Can you guess what kind of music I play from the picture? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we do have a Jackson right here off the top. That's easy to tell. Got a bass. Very nice. He's got a Fender bass. Uh, Squire. Very cool. Oh, we got an Epiphone Explorer. Very nice. Very nice. Got a Fender. This is a Strat. Yep. Straight three tail. Another bass. How many strings does this damn guitar have? What we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's got an eight string guitar. Look at the neck on it. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. It's, it's literally as big as round as my, as, as my neck. It looks like a two by four. It's got an ESP LTD and the Les Paul flavor. Very nice. There is the bass. Is this another Jackson? Yes, this is another Jackson. He's got the Jackson. Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking he knows every Cheap Trick song. He has an eight-string guitar. I know. It's amazing. If you put an eight-string guitar in, what's his name? Rick, the guitar player? I don't, I don't remember. Nelson. Is it? Yeah, I think, I think his name's Nelson. Honestly, I can't remember off the top of my head. If you put that guitar in his hands, he would literally fall forward. Oh. <laughs> he would just fall forward and die right there on stage. It'd be Budokan in Japan and Rick Nelson's dead. <laughs> That's exactly what it'd be if you put this guitar in his hand. He's got himself an eight string and it does not have fan right. fret. Nielsen. Nielsen. Rick Nielsen. Rick Nielsen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it does not have fanned frets. Because most guitars I see with eight strings do have uh, fanned frets on them. Dude, I, God, I bet that thing is... I mean, the neck on it's this damn tall. It is. It's a plank of wood. It is. I don't... Mm, I've never tried to play an eight string, but I, I'm, I'm going to have to try to do that. <laughs> so what I want to see, my friend Sam, because I, I say he plays fusion. Jazz. Fusion jazz. Maybe so. Yeah, so I want to see you do a sweet pick across those eight strings. If you do that, send me a video of it. I want to see that. Yeah, I want to see cheap trick. I could not sweet pick across eight strings. I wouldn't know where to begin. <laughs> It'd be like 472 notes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I, I got to see that. If you can do that across eight strings, because I, I don't know. I mean, if I, if I had one and I worked at it enough, maybe I could. But that would, God, because I, I don't have very big hands. So that would take me a minute to do that. I'm going to say fusion jazz on this. Now, when we were doing this, I wasn't going to break this down metal by like new metal and stuff like that, which, well, 
simply because that was like the worst period in music ever. You know, when you had, you know, Puddle of Mud and, you know, what's that? You know, it's been a while since I could stand on my own. And it's been a while. Stained. Thinking they sound a little stained. different than that. That was the band Stained. They stained my ass with that song. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that freaking song. So <laughs> I'm so sorry. And what's that? Oh, oh Nickelback. Oh, my oh, God. I mean, coming as soon as you start. Worst band coming. ever in this world is Nickelback. You, it never gets worse than Nickelback. <laughs> um, I don't own anything by Nickelback. I will never own any music by Nickelback. You will never hear me play any music by Nickelback. Should we make him wear a Nickelback, an mm. I Heart Nickelback shirt? In his now, because of that, she's going to get me a damn shirt. That says, you know, I love Nickelback on it. And if you get me one, I will wear it. Oh, you're moving yeah. back up. All right, right y'all got to help well, me. The, the hat, <laughs> a, a shirt, oh, the new one. a banner. Hell no. <laughs> and then the, on the back of the, the shirt, I will write, just kill me now. Okay, Patreon <laughs> subscribers. Okay, moving so, back so, up to Cesar Perez. Out. Okay, so we're going to give a shout out now. We've got Patreon subscribers. Two new Patreon subscribers. Two new Patreon subscribers. Jordan Perry. Jordan Perry. <laughs> Dylan, we just have a first name. Dylan. <laughs> and then two new super fans, which is John, of course, more yeah. John Morstad and Sir John uh, Sir Don. And He's I'm, a super fan. Yes. That's why I said we have two new super fans. Oh yeah, fans. yeah. Sir Don Majatod Majatod? Nah, let me see it. Let me see it. Okay. Sir John? I'm going to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you guys for helping us support the channel because this, um, this is what I love to do. And if you saw my last video, I was talking about that I literally had three jobs. And if you're thinking, oh, you ain't got three jobs, yes, ask my does. wife. <laughs> you're right. He doesn't have three. He has like five. <sighs> if you count the YouTube channel, yes. Well, you all right. So he works at our church. Yeah. Um. He works for a, a gun. Gun importer. Importer. Yes. Um, not a terrorist. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not gun runner. No. Um, you have your YouTube channel. Yes. You have your production company. Yes. See, I'm on four. Yeah, there's four right there. Yeah. Drone company. Yeah, starting that one. Yeah. Yeah, that the drone will be company. Five. That will be yeah. five. That'll be five. Well, the goal is to get rid of all the other ones, but the ones and, at the end. <laughs> and, and just do this. <coughs> yes. Yes. The goal is to get rid of all of them and just do this in the production company and the drone company. Yeah. That, that's where we're heading. So we got Cesar Perez. Cesar has got him a Pacific. Ooh, got him, a, Cesar. got him a Pacifica. Cesar. Well, Cesar. What did I say? Cesar? That's a, Cesar. That's a salad. Cesar. This is Cesar. Cesar was the conqueror of Rome. Yes, he was. Cesar. Bro, your name commands respect. Yes. You are Caesar. And when you play this guitar, you get it. He's got himself a Yamaha Pacifica. I love Yamaha gear. I have always loved Yamaha gear. You get um, your respect with this one. This is beautiful. All my pianos are Yamaha. And actually, when I used to play through my full stack Marshall JVM, half of my rack in there was Yamaha. Wow. I do love Yamaha gear. Uh, Yamaha makes great guitars. They do not get the recognition they deserve. And they make damn good acoustics, too. Damn good acoustics. All right. So, Caesar, you got yourself Caesar. Cesar. 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 Jesus. Oh, oh, yeah. Cesar Perez. Got it. He's not Italian. Nope. He's not Italian. So Cesar Perez. Got him a Yamaha. This is a S-Series body Yamaha 22 Fred. It's got a double single single. Got a vintage trim on it. I am going to say. And it's immaculate. Cesar, you are loving your guitar. That thing is clean. Impressive. I am going to say Cesar plays pop rock. Pop rock. Wow. Maybe so. Maybe so. Huh. Well, there's nothing wrong with that because back, oh. you know, because if this was back in the '80s, I'd have been saying, "Well, he plays guitar with a synth rock band." Yeah. Well, you know, synth pop, dude. I love synth. I love the '80s synth pop. Yeah. Tears for Fears. Absolutely love. Stuff like that. I'm going to go with it. 
All right. Well, then I'll go with you. Yeah. I'll go with what you say. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with like a, a synth rock yeah. pop band type of situation is what I'm going to go with. So that's what we're going to say, Cesar. 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 Bill. Apparently I need to work on that. Cesar. 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 Mr. Cesar Perez. So I'm going to I'm gonna say he plays like a, um, like a pop rock type. I don't know. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to go with. It's beautiful. More, you must more, have... more, of, a, more of a current pop rock type type music yeah now granted that's a very big category i'm not talking Katy perry right um because then i would be very upset <laughs> if cesar played Katy perry why you played mm. Katy perry i did it as a parody <laughs> you, and yet you did it amazingly well thank you but i did it as a joke i wanted no. to turn a Katy perry song metal and improve it and oh yeah. i improved the hell out of it <laughs> Turned it straight up metal. It was Katy Perry. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, I wanted to turn a Katy Perry song uh, metal. So, that is all the ones we've got right now. I'm going to say, uh, Cesar, that you are playing, uh, a, you know, a pop rock is what I'm going to say that you are playing on this. Uh, let me know if I am correct or not. Uh, that is all the photos that we have gotten and uh, to this point. So, if we did miss somebody, let me know, and I promise I will pick it up in the next video on your guitar and what you play uh my this video has probably been like 72 minutes long so we'll take care of that though we'll put breakers in it so people can go and just see there so they don't have to watch everything if they don't want to so we'll put chapter markers into the video please subscribe to the channel uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel and uh if you get a chance check out my patreon um we've getting getting the instant we got to get the instagram we got to get that rolling Okay. When we're at band practice, you need to just get it with your phone and just post it straight up to Instagram. Okay. Yeah, we got to get the Instagram thing rolling hard. And you can, you can follow me on Twitter at Trace Taylor. Do not follow Close Minded. <laughs> well, and tell people because it's T R A C E. Some people mm -hmm. do T R E S. Yeah, it's T R A C E. Yeah, I, um, I do have my Twitter up, and I've got one for closed minded Do not follow closed minded Well, unless you are... Unless you're hardcore into politics. Yep. Otherwise, don't do it. Yeah. Otherwise, don't do it. Don't do it. Just stop right there. But you can follow me on Twitter at Trace Taylor. Um, I do have my Discord set up, so I'm going to be getting that set up as soon as I can keep people from hacking into it. <laughs> because um, every day I get like four things that somebody's hacking my damn Discord for whatever reason. And I don't even have it fully set up and they're hacking the hell out of my Discord. So as soon as I can get people from hacking into it, we will be setting the Discord up and getting that moving. We'll be doing like on like, 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 like a, like a, like a, like a, we'll be doing like a Wednesday night at eight o'clock. Every Wednesday night we'll be doing a Discord type of thing uh, when I get that set up. So it is set up. Uh, for some reason, somebody's just constantly trying to hack it, and I don't want to get into it and get started, and then somebody hacks my stuff, and then I got some kind of issue. I don't know what it would be, but for whatever reason, somebody's trying to break into my Discord, and I, I absolutely don't get that. So, there we go. That's all the photos we have right now. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out my Patreon page. Check out the Instagram. You can find me on Twitter at Trace Taylor at uh, Twitter. Just look from the goofy picture with the guy holding the Wolfgang, or is it my Jackson? I don't know. It's one of the two guitars. Just look for the goofy guy. And then that will be me, of course. So I want to thank my beautiful wife. Oh, thank you, baby. Love you. For uh, helping me do this. We do have the new channel. Uh, we're finally narrowing it down, uh, Angry Flip Flops. We did a test run the other night because uh, my goal is to get her on camera enough that she becomes comfortable with it. Because I'm not. Because she's not, and she's new at it. And, and I made him delete everything. Yes, yes. We shot an entire video, threw it away. Yeah. So <laughs> so hopefully we got that coming up. So you'll want to check that out because that is going to be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to start it off. We're breaking it down. We got a little series coming out called A Simpler Life of How Much Better Things Were When We Were Kids. And that's just a series. That's not the whole channel. But that's a little thing that we're going to do. And that's what we're going to kick it off with. It is going to be very cool. It is going to be me and the wife. And then as soon as we get a chance, she's going to be making her gu uh, ghetto guacamole on it. <laughs> and um, then we're going to talk about all kinds of fun things. All kinds of fun things. Yeah. Well, we'll also be going not too far away. We're going to go on our, finally go on a honeymoon. Yes. Yes. We're going to go, we're going to go on a trip here in a few weeks. Yeah. Get to go on our honeymoon and, um. Uh, and we're going to tape while we're there certain things. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. We're going to get an Uber while we're there. <laughs> you know what get an Uber is? No. 
Yeah. Well, you don't have a car? You just take somebody else's. No. Aw. <laughs> Isn't that what you're talking about with certain things? No. Take other people's cars? No. Dude, we're in Florida. We're going to ghetto Uber our ass off. We need to go over there. We're just going to take somebody's car and go over there. We'll drop it off. No. We're taking, ghetto Uber. We're taking the motorcycle. Taking the motorcycle down. It's going to be fun. And we're driving down A1A, seeing friends. Yes. Family. We're going to drive down the coast on the motorcycle. <laughs> Have some fun and share some of it with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So on that note, we're going to wrap it up right there. Thanks for sending your photos. Uh, please tell us back exactly what you do play so I can do a follow-up video on this so I, I can correct everything because chances are I missed 100% of them. Um, and my wife missed 400% of them. Yes. Yes. So let me know what you play, uh, the type of music that you do play. And if I get any more photos, or if we did miss somebody, let me do let me know, and I will pick it up in subsequent videos. I will and if you get more, he'll still do some more. Yes, yes, yes. And I'll do them as long as they send them to me. Yeah. As long as they send them. So, again, on that note, we're going to wrap it up right there. Like the great Sammy Hagar says, if you miss the beat, you lose the rhythm, and nothing falls into place. The next video coming up will be the RG comparison, head-to-head, mano-o-mano, duking it out. Top of the line RG, bottom of the line professional RG. Anything you need to say before we go, baby? I'm good. She is good, and that is correct. <laughs> I find it hard to believe because she did marry me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so on that note, whatever instrument you play, play to the best of your ability, and for the love of God, rock on. You got to do it, baby. You got to do it. I'm not. Just give us one. Rock on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, that was so unmetal. That was so unmetal. <laughs> Rock on.